anyone being an entrepreneur. I was pretty keen at school, maybe a little annoying. I worked quite hard and I found the kind of history of art very interesting. Definition of success when I was 18, it would be to be a lawyer or a doctor or a banker, earn lots of money, uh, have a big house. We were not given any advice about creative jobs. Did I always want to start my own company? No, I probably thought that being an entrepreneur wasn't kind of what I wanted to do. I like to work on companies with value and purpose, which is why I work for the BBC and the UN, which I really enjoyed. But then getting a little bit worn down by the, the larger bureaucracy that comes with that. I just wanted more freedom and I felt like I'd lost my voice. And then I just thought, right, I've got to do it. Tales of Thread is a clothing company that has a transparent supply chain. So we pay everyone involved above market wages if there's not a regulated wage. We work with female owned and managed factories to produce really beautiful clothes that we hope would be cherished. The garment industry is the second most polluting industry in the world after the oil and gas industry. So we're trying to challenge the garment industry to do away with fast fashion and create something beautiful and long lasting. We are in the fashion industry because we are producing, but the main point of Tales of Thread was to create employment. Working with female-owned or managed factories, which is really important because sort of studies show that if you're paying uh, women um, a more sustainable wage, their children are more likely to go to school and they will spend it on their household. As that has real uh, benefit. When I was pregnant and planning the business. To have my daughter, I just knew, you know, I had finite time, and especially when she was very young, you know, there's only like two hours before they need feeding again. I was breastfeeding. Um, I'd have Skype calls when I was breastfeeding, so I'd be sort of like just my base. Having a young child, you have to be focused because you don't have spare time. It's like you just have to make a decision, you know, it was like you can't waste time and come back to it the next day. Our launch kept getting delayed for various kind of production issues and we had a sort of hard deadline by that point in May 2015 and we were expecting to have all the product and we would, thought we could do a kind of pre-order basically. We were told that we were paying a massive import duty that I totally hadn't expected, um, you know, kind of like thousands. And although, you know, we'd done all the research, it was just a real lesson <laughs> to, um, to know that you can't be in control of everything. My definition of success now is feeling that I'm really making a difference, I think, and creating something. I didn't want it to fail and I'd put so much into it um, that I wanted it to work. If you're working for something, someone else you don't have that motivation so much. Advice I would give is to consider freelancing or consultancy because that gives you a bit of confidence but also a bit more freedom so you know that you can go back into that area of work if the startup doesn't work or even you know carry on doing that whilst building your startup. I think the life hack for being a mum and kids is picking your battles and deciding what you're going to kind of wage war on. As long as we're out the door in something that she hasn't worn all night, I'd, you know, consider that a kind of a win. I don't tend to work in the evening because by that point I'm too shattered. My deadline is to six because that's when I go pick up my daughter. I think there's a contradiction for women. Certainly when I was at school we were told you got to really push with your career and then when you are a mother, that's all you can do. I think success has really shifted from being all about money and working really hard to more about work-life balance now. Making sure that you really enjoy what you do because you have to spend a really long time working. Everyone is like rightfully terrified of starting something. Almost wished I'd kind of realised I could do it a lot earlier on because um, it does give you an amazing freedom. I just wish I'd done it sooner. <laughs>